how was that uh, moment for you when you came out and the crowd was giving you the ovation? It was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, you don't got to grow up down here to know what this means, and to have that moment was pretty cool. I kind of thought of Johnny Drama and Entourage and sort of rolled with it. <laughs> Didn't know what to do with my hands. That was your 91st career appearance and your longest one yet. Just what do you think has allowed you this year to, to kind of go deeper into outings? Uh, just consistently being in the strike zone. I think throughout my career I've had a lot of good streaks and a lot of horrible streaks. And this year being able to be a more consistent version of myself every time I go out has helped me. Along those same lines, obviously the pitching staff has been a little banged up. How much do you want to kind of deliver in the big moments and stretch yourself out for this appearance? This is what I came here to do, and this is what I expected last year. So to be able to be a part of it this year has been a hell of a ride. James, just how tough of a matchup is Schlesinger for a left-handed hitter, and, and what were you looking for on, on the homer that you hit? Yeah, I mean, it's really tough. Um, you know, credit to Bryce Hewlett and uh, Danny Cantu. Like, we put in a lot of work today, really going over everything that you know could happen and, and trying to prepare ourselves the best that we could um, for that. And, I was just looking to fight. Uh, doesn't really have a pitch out in mind. I was just trying to uh, stay alive and uh, you know, was able to put a good swing on that ball. Yeah, after the last couple of years, just what has this week been like for you and the, the environment that, that's been here all the last three games? Yeah, um, this means the world to me. Like, coming here and, and knowing the rivalry of Florida State that, that, they, that we have with Miami and Florida uh, and to see what's happened the last two years, uh, it means more than anybody will know. Um, you know. That's what I wanted to come here and do. And, um, you know, to, to be a part of that is something that I'll forever be thankful for. These are, these are emotional games, but it seems like you guys do a good job of keeping your emotions in check. Like, what's been the key to that? Yeah. How proud are you of the way you guys have been? Yeah, I'm really proud. I mean, we definitely have our moments, and, and to be able to just stay cool, you know, calm and collected, is something that I think we pride ourselves in and something that helps us you know, continue to battle and continue to fight regardless of the situation. And um, it's a special group. It is a special group. And to be a part of that is really fun. When the lineup's clicking like it was pretty much, I think you scored in the first seven innings. Just how much fun is it to be a part of that? Yeah, I looked up and I was like, wow, we've scored in every inning. That's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty fantastic. I mean, everybody can do damage. Um, you know, the word I think of is relentless. It's just constant pressure, um, you know, strong ABs and, and the ability to put the ball anywhere in the park or out of the park at any moment. That's that's really cool. Brennan, just what has it been like working with Posey this year, and what are some things that you guys have worked on together? It's been a pretty interesting ride. I think me and Posey in the beginning of the year weren't totally seeing eye to eye for a bunch of reasons, but we had a meeting about three, four weeks before the season started, and he sat me down and told me what he wanted me to do and what I wanted to do. And once we had that conversation, then we were both on the same page. It's gotten a lot better. And just the calmness he brings to the game, because I'm not I'm not the most calm guy, so he can he can bring me back down when I need it. So that helps me a lot too. And just the sort of methodical way that he goes about coaching and the consistency he has definitely rubs off on us as a staff. How much confidence are you building in turning the game over to the the, the guys at the end of the the, the pen? Oh, it's been awesome. I think uh, I think as the season's extended, we've We've sort of found our own as a staff. I mean, I know the Clemson series happened, and that was what it was. But with the exception of that, I think we've been pretty elite from then on out. How much fun has it been watching these young pitchers kind of find themselves? It's been real fun. I think uh, Brady Lauk's one of the one of the guys I really enjoy watching pitch, just because he doesn't really pitch like a freshman. He's got sort of a he's got an attitude on him, and it's fun to watch.